Hi there, this is Ken Tao, the director of MCAT programming of the Prospective Doctor team. Today we're going to answer the question, how many hours should you study for the MCAT? So as you might have guessed, the precise number of hours is going to depend on the student. To figure out the number of hours that you're going to need to study, you should consider these four questions. Number one, what is your target score? Logically, the higher your target score, the more you'll probably have to study. Number two, how well do you recall the knowledge from your prerequisite courses for the exam? As you know, the MCAT covers a broad range of subjects, including general chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, biology, biochemistry, psychology, and sociology. Chances are, it's been at least a year or more since you've taken some of these courses. So depending on how well you've retained this information or how much you've forgotten, you may need to study more or less for the exam. Number three, how comfortable are you at applying scientific knowledge? Now, being able to rattle off a bunch of scientific facts is great, such as fluorine is the most electronegative element. However, memorizing facts alone is not going to be able to get you a great score on the MCAT. And that's because the vast majority of questions on the exam are associated with a passage. These passages will introduce new situations and information that you've never learned about before. And to answer these questions, you're going to have to apply your knowledge of science to the new information in these passages. So depending on your aptitude with this, you may need to do more or fewer practice passages. Number four, how comfortable are you with the critical analysis and reasoning skills section of the exam? Unlike the science sections, the car section does not require any prerequisite knowledge of science. Instead, you're gonna be presented a series of passages on humanities and social studies topics and you'll need to think critically and analyze the text in order to answer these questions. Scoring well in this section can be difficult. Often, you're going to have to do a bunch of practice passages in order to learn and master strategies and techniques that are going to be able to get you these questions correctly. So again, depending on how strong you are with the section, you may have to do more or fewer practice passages. Now, at this point, we haven't actually given you a concrete number of hours that you need to study. Again, remember this is going to depend on the student, but what we can tell you is that, in our experience, the average student studies for about 300 hours. And this can be done in different ways. So for some students who have a lot of time over the summer and can study maybe 40 hours each week, they can knock out the 300 hours in about eight weeks or two months. For other students that are studying during the academic year and still have classes and other extracurricular commitments, they'll maybe be able to study 15 to 20 hours each week. So for these students, it might take 12 to 16 weeks or about three to four months. So keeping this 300 hours in mind, you'll want to decide for yourself, based on those four questions we discussed earlier, do you need to add hours to that or can you subtract a few hours from there? So hopefully you found this video helpful and as you start thinking about preparing for the MCAT, try to keep those four questions in mind. If you have any questions for me, feel free to drop us a comment on this video or contact us at prospectivedoctor.com or medschoolcoach.com. Thanks for checking out that video. I hope you found it helpful. For even more, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our blog. And remember, if you need help through the MCAT, admissions, or USMLE, Med School Coach has you covered.